Welcome back to the channel. Today is this video is part one of a double upload um, where this entire week I will be going over schedule predictions for all eight conferences and then a playoff prediction that will be on Friday and then there will be another video or two sprinkled in here here and there. Um, yeah, let's get right into the, uh, this. Today we have the AFC North. Real quick, just so you know, when I look down over here, um, I have the schedules and all that stuff down here. So that's what, I, that's what I'm looking at, okay? Starting off with the best team, the best player in the AFC North, the Baltimore Ravens. I have them going anywhere from 11-5 and to 14 to 16-0. and Bold claim, 16-0. and But, um... But yeah, they have put in uh, anywhere in there, but I think what I'm going to go with is 14 and two. Um, their two losses will come against Kansas City on September 28th and November 26th at Pittsburgh. Those those will be their two losses and their two most exciting games to watch, especially that September 28th game against Kansas City. That'll be an am amazing one to watch. Um, Outside of those two teams, they don't really face anyone too tough. Um, their next toughest one is probably New England Patriots. Um, not not saying that just because of Patriots fan, but that's probably their maybe their Philadelphia game. Um, their other Pittsburgh game, but um, Houston maybe. But outside of that, outside of Kansas City and Pittsburgh, they this seems like a fairly easy schedule, and I see them going fourteen and two. Now we move on to the Cincinnati Bengals, who. I don't think they're going to be too good at all this year. I have them going anywhere from 0 and 16 to 6 and 10. Um, but I think the most logical, um, the most reasonable record for them would be 3 and 13, um, getting either the top pick or the second pick in the draft again. Um, the top pick again, a high pick again. Um, but yeah, I have them starting off with a nine-game losing streak. Um, but it, it's a tough, it's a tough schedule. Um, they have to play, uh, Philly, they have to play Baltimore, Indianapolis, Tennessee, Pittsburgh. Um, the Chargers will be a tough one opening week. Um, but yeah, their wins really come in a three game stretch against, um, the NFC East and AFC East when they play, um, Washington, uh, the New York Giants and Miami Dolphins. Um, that's where their three wins will come, but outside of that, this is a tough, a very tough schedule. Hey, yeah, Oni, I'm gonna be a little bit late. I'm gonna do some of uh, some of some kids' uh, YouTube channel. Hey, come on, man, really? Yeah, he he want me to promote some sort of uh, what what is it again? The fantasy football website. Oh yeah, website. He's, he he does these uh, football stuff, you know, um. Has like all these uh, fantasy football rankings, you know, uh, ranks the quarterbacks, the running backs, the wide receivers, tight ends. Better have my Giants doing good this year. Of course they don't. They're the New York Giants. The only player they got is Saquon. Hey, don't you dare insult my Giants that way. At least I'm getting paid for this. Wait, you get you're getting paid for this? I I don't even get paid. Yeah, I'm getting paid like a hundred grand for this. Like, you tell me you don't get paid? Does it look like I get paid? I've made four videos. The most anyone's gotten is like ten views. That's not good enough to get paid. Sucks to be you, kid. I got like seven mansions. Hey, wait, hold, hold, hold up, honey. I got another call. Ooh, Saquon Barkley. Yo, Saquon, what you want? You're getting calls from Saquon? Come on, let me let me get his number, man. Come on. Yeah, no, this ain't important. I can go. Okay. Oh, you give me season tickets? I'm going to be the only fan there? Okay, well. Bye, kid. I'm out. Rich people. That was the worst New York accent I've ever heard in my life. Well, what he was trying to say is, I have a website, um, fantasy football based. I have rankings. Um, pretty soon I'll have sleepers, I'll have player analysis, uh, go check it out, there's a link in the description for it, um, it's an amazing URL, thank, thank you Wix, and, um, yeah, on to the rest of the schedule.
So yeah, next in line we have the Cleveland Browns, who I have all over. They can be anywhere really. Um, the worst I have them going is six and ten, um, but the best I have them going is uh, twelve and four. I think twelve and four is the best they can do. Um, but yeah, what that's the best. I would say most realistic eight and eight. Not great. Not a great season for them, but um. Yeah, some games to watch out for. The Dallas game, October 4th. That'll be an interesting one to watch. Um, I guess their week o their um, week one opener against Baltimore. Um, I want to see how they play against uh, solid competition. Um, but after that, not too many interesting games. Um, the Tennessee game on December 6th should be fairly close. Um, same with the Houston game on November 15th and the Las Vegas game on November 1st. Overall, dead dead middle season for um, Cleveland. Then lastly, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are also kind of all over the place. Um, the absolute worst I think they can do is 7-9. and nine. Um, That's if Big Ben is not who we remember him to be. Um, if Juju and James Conner um, don't step up into the roles, into their roles, then seven and nine. But if everything goes right, this team will be very good. One of the best, if not the best, defense in the NFL. Um, I could see them going fifteen and one. But um, a more realistic, um, realistic record would be twelve and four, or thirteen and three. Um, yeah, they're with their key loss, uh, their key games against Baltimore on October twenty fifth and against Baltimore on November 26th. Those will be some of the best games to watch all season. But um, outside of that, there's not too much um, competition with them. They, they do play Buffalo and Tennessee, Philadelphia, which could all hand them losses. Um, but this should be a very good Steelers team this year. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, as that... Um, smart business dude from New York mentioned earlier. Uh, I have a website. If you need help with fantasy football, there's rankings. Uh, there will be sleepers. There will be player analysis coming up fairly soon. Um, if you need any help for fantasy that's not on there, um, go leave a comment on any of my videos. I should respond to it. Um, yeah, Or leave a comment saying how stupid I am for having the Pittsburgh Steelers possibly go 15-1 and or even 13-3. and um, or leave a comment saying, oh, Thomas, you're so smart. You're the best football analyzer in, on YouTube. Um, I'm sure that's what they're all going to be. But, um, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, check out the website, and adios.